Hi, for this presentation we will uh, practice and execute some Prolog programs for artificial intelligence programming and the version of Prolog that we're using is the one that is showing here on, on, on the presentation so I Prolog, you can uh, Google this and it's usually Google return the first link I mean the first search result will be the link to this page so you shouldn't have any trouble finding the, the link or you can see the link here um, now there are two versions that you can have access to the system you can download your own uh, prolog into your computer system it shouldn't take you more than five minutes you can try online and actually there is a third way that in our computer lab we have another uh, Linux version of Prolog installed. For this presentation we will try the online version which will take you a page that looks like this maybe use looks a little different I don't know because I, I sometimes I have extra files here that I was using previously and I think my uh, system just yes, has those in, in, in there. I mean, that's, that's a recent files that I have been using the shoulders. But okay, but the main thing is that you have a section for the code that you're going to be working on, and then we have the query system. So the way that the, the program works, so let's see that in this case you want to actually. Uh, well, here we can click on the plus and then you can create a notebook something similar like one we did with uh, Jupyter in, in, in Python you can have like a notebook in which you can have notes on the codes that you're doing or you can just have a regular program in which you just write the code here and remember the prologue you can have rules you can have facts and then you can have a query system um, so or something as simple as uh, maybe f0 dot so this is a program already is as in, in, in this is a fact so here I ask uh, lowercase uppercase is a variable so here the way that we have in the query system is that is try to go into the knowledge base that is this area and see what values of x can make this uh, true then so if we run it it goes and look and says well x must be zero that's the only possibility that we can have that if I have another fact like f of uh, 2 or f of 4 and then I execute it again I have multiple options multiple and this uh, this is what is called backtracking because in most most programming language you execute the program once and you're done so in this case is is asking you well I found a solution x equals zero but I can find multiple solutions that's what we call the backtracking so you can say okay what's the other possible solution that you can find so in this case is searching from top to bottom and then when this or x, uh, 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 option fails it goes to the next one and to the next one right and then until there is no more so in this case there are three possible answers for that variable to be true. What I want you to uh, op, uh, to practice today, there is a, 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 a in the menu in the menu here you see an option that says examples and then you can click example programs. I think mine is already here because I already use on that and then it gives you an option about some of the uh, programs that we can practice for today. Um, let's 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 go with the knowledge bases and then here again we got here some information that we have here and this we can see that this is some explicit information about Vincent loving Maya or Mia and then Marcellus the same so here we see that there are two people that love the same person and then uh, the similar we have here with uh, Honky and honey bunny here okay so uh, this is what we can say that this is explicit and here there is a this is what we can define as a rule and then in this rule we can um, identify other type of information like for example we can say that this relation is true 
when there is an X that loves a Z and there is a Y that loves the Z, so they have something in common. So then X and Y, they have some uh, and jealousy, let's say, about them. And uh, the way that we execute here queries, we can say something like, uh, so it's true that Vincent loves uh, Mia. Then we run it, and it says true. Now, look at that is lowercase, and it's going to the knowledge base. It's checking for that knowledge. And then again, look at how easy it is to represent uh, some knowledge in the system. So here is Vincent, and then maybe say X. X is who. In this case, I don't know. I want you to go and search in the knowledge page if what will make this a true statement. I mean, the Vincent and X. I mean, who? I mean, who's the person that Vincent loves? And then it's going to go into the system and go and find that information there. Okay? Uh, and um, now here, there are some examples of executing, so I just want to copy and paste it. Oh, well, I have that tool, like for example, let's say, uh, who loves Mia? And this has two possible answers, right? So one is Vincent, and then we have another one, so we can backtrack and look for the other one. Now, we can also check on this, and then there is are there are any people that meets, that makes this uh, predicate true? So here we got one possibility, x equals y, and then in that case is Vincent. So look at the way that, I mean, that is going in search. So here, the x and the, the y, and then look that, I mean, this is the part that makes this very powerful, which is the backtracking, to keep on looking on combination of making that true. Now, if there is something that doesn't make sense, like in the case of a person loving himself or the person uh, being jealous of himself, I mean, there are other conditions that maybe are missing there, right? So we just practice with this type of exercises. Now, going back to the examples, let's now look into the movie database. The movie database is a very interesting example here. So here, what I like about this, this is a huge uh, database. I mean, uh, well, it's a database, so we can set a, a huge set of facts about movies and then uh, so it's big again I like the way that is easy to represent information in the system so you can see that in each movie the facts that are listed for the movie is for example the well the explanation is right here so the movie the title and the year and uh, the director actors and actresses that were in the movie so here is the movie and then the way that are grouped here in this in this file is that uh, for this movie they have the director the actor and actresses actually Prolog doesn't like that the facts about uh, uh, are not consecutive like for example facts for movies so there is a movie here and then there is a movie over here, and then there is another movie over here. So these are independent statements. So this has nothing to do with us and affect the other one. The way that was arranged is for us visually to kind of uh, see the record of this is the record for this movie. And then the way that uh, Prolog wants is that they want all the information about movies together, so all the information of all the directors together. But here is explaining. Uh, that they are not uh, consecutive, that they are not together, so they are uh, they are not continuous after the other one. Now you don't see this because this is something that I just created, and um, and what we will do is we will go and and and, and uh, work with this information. So I will pause the video now because it's about ten minutes, and. Uh, Canvas and all the systems that I use, they don't like videos that are longer than 10 minutes. So I will stop and continue on a second video.